now in this lecture we're going to learn the react routing dom module routing is one of the most important concept in react application so what is routing routing is a process of keeping the browser url in sync with what being rendered on a page it is basically used to render different pages without reloading the browser as you know react is a popular library for creating single page applications that are rendered on client side a single page application might have multiple views also known as pages and unlike conventional multi pages apps navigating through these views shouldn't result in the entire page being reloaded instead we want the view to be rendered in line within the current page in react there are different type of routing we have a basic navigation routing nested routing nested routing with path parameter and then we have protected routing we will look at all of this routing in the next lectures but just for now let's understand the basic of routing in react in browser based application there are two type of router browser router and hash router browser router something look like this and the hash router something look like this you can notice we have hash inside the url this is what we call the hash router the browser router is more popular of the two because it uses the html5 history api to keep your ui sync with the url whereas the hash router uses the hash portion of your url now let's take a look at how you can add route in your react application what you need to do is you need to first install the react router dom module in your react application so you just need to first open your terminal a new terminal enter into your directory and here you just need to say npm i4 install and then you need to install react router dom module make sure you add hyphen between these words just press enter to install this module inside your application now once you've done that just clear the screen close this terminal just open your parent component index is my parent component so i'm going to just open the index.js file just add this import statement down here i'm going to simply add a comment and say react router and here i'm going to import the browser router module so i'm going to say here import then i'm going to say browser router from and in the single code i'm going to simply say react router dom so from this react router dom module i'm going to just import this browser router and i'm going to just wrap my components inside this browser router to keep track of component history so what i'm going to do is i'm going to get rid of this component react street mode right from here and here i'm going to say browser router do the same right here to close this browser router component now you can notice i'm going to just wrap my components inside this browser router component this browser router component is going to track our history so whenever you try to navigate through your components this browser router component will track that when you wrap your components inside this browser router this code will create a history instance of your entire app component let's look at what that means as i said browser router use html5 history api the history library lets you easily manage session history anywhere javascript runs the history object contains the url visited by the user each router component create a history object that keep track of the current location and also the previous location in the stack when the current location changes the view is re-rendered but how does the current location change the history object has method such as history.push and history.replace to take care of that the history.push method is invoked when you click on the link component we will look at the router and the link component in the next lecture the history.push method is invoked when you click on the link component and the history.replace is called when you use the redirect component and you also have other methods and other components as well inside this library enough theory in the next lecture we'll look at the basic navigation routing 